Okay, so on today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you how you install uh, Wii Station 3.0. Um, it just came out a few weeks ago. So I'm going to go through it and uh, show you how to install it and use the uh, best settings. So first, uh, we're going to install a channel for it. Um, so go over to the homebrew channel. Start it up. Go over to Remod Light, load. Um, go over to the WAD Manager, press A. Uh, press A on the WSD slot. Go down to your WADS folder, press A. Uh, find your restation folder, press A. And press A to install. Shouldn't take too long. There you go. Press any key to continue. Press B and then press home. Should take you back to the homebrew channel. And now press home again. Exit the system menu. Now you should have the Wii Station uh, channel forwarder. So there you go. Um, so this uh, forwarder is going to work for the 3.0. And I will show you how on the SD card when I show you the setup. So let's load it up and uh, do some settings. Now go to start. Here you go. Now we're in the uh, emulator. Um, go over to settings. Uh, general uh, CPU core I find that the light rack is the best one but it also depends on the game so just uh, play around with it and see which one works the best but start off with uh, light rack uh, BIOS I have the BIOS on my SD card um, I like the old feel of the PlayStation so I like to load the BIOS so SD and then boot through BIOS, I just go yes. Um, save settings, the SD. Okay. Now go to video. Uh, show frames per second on. Uh, force NTSC. Make sure that's on. Um, the screen mode. Uh, you, you can try the new uh, 240p. Um, if the game doesn't work for some reason you're gonna have to change it um, everything else you can leave the same um, depending on what controller you're using um, you're gonna have to configure your buttons I'm just using the uh, Wii Classic controller so mine's already set up so everything here you can leave unless you're using a different controller you can also use the GameCube controller um, audio the same thing you can leave it as is Um, so that's basically it for the settings. Now go to B. Um, I'm going to plug in my uh, classic controller. It's going to show up on the bottom. There you go. So right there, classic controller. Now go to load ISO from SD card, if that's what you're using. And there's my game that I'm using. Um, the, uh, Wii Station 3.0. Um, will allow you to play the .chd format games so that's what I'm going to use but you can also use the uh, bin and queue so mine is a chd so let's see if it'll load now this is a lighter game so it should load quite easily um, you're going to have to go through with it and see what games are going to work uh, there's a compatibility list that you can look at online so let's just start the game Show you just a little bit of gameplay, and then I'll show you the SD card and what it's supposed to look like when you have everything set up. So press A to load the game. And go to OK, and then play game. There you go, there's the BIOS loading at the beginning. So it gives you the Sony uh, PlayStation feel. 
So, so far the frames per second are around 60, which is pretty good. So, so far this one is uh, working pretty good. The sound and uh, video is uh, really good. So it's working perfectly. Um, so there you go. Um, now we're going to get on the PC. Um, I'll show you exactly where to uh, get the download uh, files from. And I'll show you exactly um, what the SD card is uh, supposed to look like. Um, so we'll see you over on the PC. Okay, so now on the PC... I'm going to be leaving you these two links in the description. One is for Wii Station version 3.0. Uh, it's a GitHub page. So uh, this will tell you everything that they've added new. So 240. Uh, it also supports light gun, mouse, uh, CHD format, uh, Force NTSC, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so you just go down to Wii Station version 3.0.zip. Um, so you download that and then as for the channel, um, it's on uh, GBA temp. You just scroll down on this page. Uh, so it's right here. Uh, the one on the left is for the VWE. So if you're doing this on the Wii U, this is going to work on the, with the one on the left. If you're doing it on the Wii, make sure you download the one on the right which is for the regular Wii WAD. Um, so you download that. And now I'm going to show you what the SD card is going to look like quickly. So there's my two zip files. I already unzipped them, put them in a folder. So Wii Station 3.0, uh, set up a SD card. Um, so here's my SD card. So under apps, uh, Wii Station 3.0. Uh, the, the wads and there's the wad for it um, and then we SXRX this is where you put your BIOS I can't show you where to get it but it's really easy to find just look for a PlayStation BIOS it should be a, a, a dot bin file so just put it in here um, and then the ISOs all the games go in here um, you can use uh, bin and Q or the dot chd. They work the same. Um, and then that's about it. Uh, when it comes to the Wii channel forwarder for the 3.0, all you have to do is go into the uh, apps folder uh, where it says Wii Station version 3.0. Just rename it and take out the underscore version 3.0. Press enter and just leave it like this. Now you should be able to use the uh, channel forwarder. Um, so that's basically it for this video. Um, I will leave all the links in the uh, pinned comment. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.